Most efficient way to do this question is to trust our main strategy. Plug points into equations. I have points right here. This is a chart of points. I have equations right here in the answers. What do they want? The table shows three values of X and their corresponding values of Y. Duh, that's useless. Where S is a constant, okay, duh. There is a linear relationship between X and Y. Which of the following equations represents this relationship? Well, I don't need to write a Y equals MX plus B here because all of these choices are linear relationships. So plug points into equations. Pick a value that's kind of easy to think about. So I have an S and 15. And S is my X value and 15 is my Y value. So let's just put it in. Um, if I put it in A, I would have S times S plus three times 15, and that's supposed to equal 18S, but that equals S squared plus 45. That's, that's too weird, so that's something's wrong there. But if we do it in B, we have three S, right, because X is S, plus S times 15, that's our Y, and so that's three S, uh, let's write it above, three S plus 15S is 18S. So that works, right, because that's what we wanted, now, I don't know if that's right because it could work in multiple answers, so I have to try multiple things, but this is going to be 3s. This is going to also be 15s, but now it's not 18, right? That, that's wrong. It's got to be 18s, so that doesn't work. And this is also the same problem as a, right, where we're going to get an s squared plus 45 is equal to 18. So no, that doesn't work either. So just like that, it's b. This is that master the middle thing. Like, this is technically one of maybe our first like really hard, you know, in that zone of hard questions, but it's so easy if we just plug points into equations. And this is why I got to trust the strategy. The first time I ever did this, I arithmetized, right? So I made up values for S. You can do that. You can also then maybe go to Desmos and, and use the, um, uh, like the graphing feature. You can kind of use S as a slider if you really want. You can do the regression if you really want. There's lots of clever things you can do in Desmos, but uh, none of that's even necessary. You could also just by hand, once you've made a number for S, plug that in to all of these. I actually made S zero, which makes the points crazy, but it still works. Um, and so, you know, that was actually more work than I needed. I should have just trusted the strategy. I have points, I have equations. Let me plug them in. Let me see if certain things go away, and then if I need to do more work because there's multiple answers left over, then I'll do it. But sometimes you don't need to. Sometimes you just get down to one answer in a very simple way, and, and that's awesome. I love this question because it is one that's going to scare people and suck up a lot of time when it's really kind of just a minute, minute and a half tops, and, and that's great for something that's supposed to be kind of hard.